Hello. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove the watermark that's usually there in Windows 8.1 beta or consumer preview or whatever you want to call it. To do this, it's fairly eh, kind of kind of simple, kind of complicated. But you just go to this site. Follow these instructions to the letter. All right, download that. Install the Take Ownership Registry. Take ownership of these two. And move the edited files into the destination. Run your command prompt as your admin and then run MC Builder. Then just do a restart. You don't have to remove take ownership unless you want to. I keep it on mine. The issue with take ownership, as I have said before, is that you could potentially accidentally delete an important system file. And if you do keep take ownership on and accidentally delete something critical to your system and you end up corrupting your machine or breaking it, I am not responsible. All right, thank you. And that will be all for this video. It was fairly short. And also, actually, video is not over. I'm going to show you how to add these other files that we've all seen to the startup. So the, for the Windows 8 gadgets, it's simple. You just open your task manager by hitting Control Shift Escape. Click the Startup tab, go to Windows Desktop Gadgets, right click, and then, well, Enable. Mine says Disable because I already enabled it. For the others, you go to your C drive, which I have in my taskbar. Users, go to your username. Before you do this, actually, you have to go into your control panel, go to folder options, in the second tab you click view. And then you have to show hidden files, folders, and drives. Okay? Make sure that's checked, and then what you do is go to C, users, your username, App Data, Roaming, Microsoft, Windows, Start Menu, Programs, Startup. And then you just copy the shortcuts. Or in the case of Win Arrow Glass, I just put the executable there because it's just one simple executable. But what you do is you just copy shortcuts of whatever you want to be added to your startup menu. I mean, to your startup when your computer starts. Fairly simple, fairly easy, and this is a fairly short video, but important one nonetheless. I will list the full instructions in the details below, along with the link for the removal of the watermark. You do not need Windows 8.1 to add the startup options like this. All of these things that I have shown you do work in Windows 8 as well as 7 and Vista. Actually, I think the path might be a little different in Vista, but it's similar. But anyways, oh, I just want to show you one of my favorite features of Windows. Let's say we have all of these open, and we do show windows side by side. See, it shows all nine of them. Let's say we decide to minimize one because we don't want it. Now, unlike with Apple and their Macs, which if you go into their expose mode, shows you every single window, you go show windows side by side, it will not show the minimize one because it knows you don't need it. See? Because it figures, hey, you minimized it, you don't need it. So, that's pretty cool. But with uh, Apple and their Macs, you know, you go into the expose mode. Whatever program's running, it just shows it. 
which can get annoying. It also works with show windows stacked and side by side. So, like I said, you minimize one, show windows side by side. It does not show the minimized one. And just to prove it, see, they're all still open. Here, I'll put that one back up and then it will put that back in the show window side by side. See? Alright. So let me just close the group. Well, that's all for this video. Again, like I said, the links will be in the description below as well as how to add things to your startup menu. Alright, thank you and I hope you enjoyed this video.